Hey everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. I'm going to be showing you how to make this really sweet. It's a snow globe, but I've got so many ideas of using it in, in lo lots of different ways. One of them being a money box. I think if you were to cut a hole in here, just with your cutting knife, you could make it one of those money boxes that they have to break open once they've filled it. Or if you wanted to, you could you know, think of other ways to, to have it, that they could take the money out. But I think that's the fun is that they can't really get to it unless they ruin it. But uh, did you ever have one of those ones that you smashed on the floor? I remember I did when I was a child. But these are just so nice. And I think they would work really nice as like a seasonal piece as well. So you could have this as a nice little piece. It's an ornament. So you could have, you know, one for spring, summer, autumn. I think they would look great. They would also, I think, make really nice tree decorations. And, you know, the possibilities are endless and they work great for, you know, all, for everybody. So they're really nice, really fun to make. And yeah, let me show you how I did it. Okay, so this is using the Diorama Elegant Ornament Die Set. This is by Paper Discovery. Now this one also has a coordinating die set which is the village die set Now I don't have that one yet but it's really really sweet and this would make a lovely for like a new home so obviously it's a Christmas scene but if you were to die cut these in different colours you've got the kind of the hill there with the trees and you could have you know new home stamps and they do have that kind of thing to go with it but this is the one with the the snowflake here so it's got a bit more of a Christmas feel about it however you can change that completely and add to it maybe some other stamps and dies that you have around so you might have some real nice autumnal leaves and you could die cut this in a different colour you could make a really nice spring spring one and you could have different kind of shaker parts inside of it and that's optional as well you don't need to do that there's actually multiple ways of using this and you can also use it to make a circular gift box so I will show you all the different ways in due course but first of all I wanted to show you how to make this one because I think once you've mastered this one all the rest are really easy it's just this is the one I guess adding all the elements so this is how it looks and I've already gone ahead and die cut what we need because you don't need to watch me die cut <laughs> it's pretty self-explanatory so what you will need is to make this kind of encased shaker piece you will want to die cut two of the longest strip okay now I did cut mine on a4 pattern paper you wouldn't be able to do it on 11 um, length 11 inch length because I think you'd miss too much of the tab and obviously 12 inches will be fine but I did get away with it on the three quarters of an inch um, 11 and three quarters which is the A4 length it's just very shy just missed a little bit there but you you wouldn't know at all so two pieces I'm using that gorgeous holographic card by Dovecraft because I'm going to do a New Year's one which I thought would look really nice so you get all these pieces here then you want to have one of these here which is the base okay so that creates this style here and then what I've done, because there are the great thing about the paper discovery is they have lots of when Olga kind of brings out new collections, they coordinate really well with other things that you might already have. So if you already have the, you know, you've got the you've already got this one. The next one that she's got coming out, well it'll be out now by the time this video goes out, is this one here, which is the time on your hand die and stamp set. So you get this lovely stamp here, which is that one, and then this huge die set here. And I have a tutorial coming very soon using elements from this, and it's really, really sweet. I've enjoyed using this one. So with on, within this stamp set here, which is why I said it's great for you know all kinds of things, you've got happy birthday, you've got time to party, time to celebrate, take time for yourself, so it would be a really nice maybe for a get well, for someone that just need, you know, maybe they've taken some time from work. Just, I think there's some, so many nice little phrases here. Time to be happy. And then on, there's this lovely little sentiment here. Time is not measured by clocks, but by moments. So this can be used across the board and it's a perfect one for male and female, depending on the cardstock you use. So when I show you the other tutorial I've got coming again very soon, it might even be tomorrow using this one, it's a more masculine one. And I think you'll be able to see how it can be used across, you know, all kinds of, um, yeah, anybody really. So you also get the stamps here for your little clock. Um, <laughs> what's the name? Oh my gosh, why is that gone for me? It'll come to me in a minute. Uh, hands, the clock hands. Uh, you've got the cogs. Enjoy the good times was another one there. And obviously your clock face. So what I've gone ahead and done is on some heat... Um, proof acetate I have heat embossed and stamped the clock face 
and then the time to party which you can just see there and that's using silver embossing then I've cut it out using the largest circle okay then with again with that largest circle cut another piece of acetate and this is for the back now this is optional you could have it as vellum you could have it as plain cardstock but I want to be able to see right through this one so that's again just using the acetate that's the largest one then you'll want the largest and the smallest pop them together with some washi tape so you get a nice even frame here and you're going to die cut two rings one in white because that's going on the back and one again in that lovely holographic cardstock for the front okay so that's everything that I think I'm going to need for this and then I've got the, the tinsel I'm not sure if I'm going to use it or not but then it is new year so again you can you know you can go over the top but I'm going to be using these shaker pieces here which are white and silver mixed and I think that's going to work really nicely together so just pop that one away and then we want to start constructing now I am using for this one I used obviously a glitter cardstock and this one I'm using a mirrored cardstock so whenever I use anything that has a a coating on it I always use the red sticky tape or double you know your red liner tape I'm going to bring my thicker one in here as well and um, I think that's everything I need so first of all you just want to go along and just curl these just to help them kind of go into that shape again that one there and then this one here you want to curl just the outer ones just kind of curl them up like that okay and then these ones you're going to fold down like that and then all of these little pieces you're going to fold down and it's all very easy these are you know quick to construct so if you want to send out some posh new year invites you know maybe you're doing a little dinner party how lovely would something like this be and then you just what's going to happen is because you've curled it that way when that folds in once we've attached all of our tape it will curve upwards so I just need to burnish that score line there and that one there okay so that's that piece kind of ready and then along here before you bend them all over what you want to do is add some sticky tape just a cheat way it's just kind of instead of cutting lots of little ones if you're not using um a tech you know a coated paper uh, cardstock just use normal liquid glue it will be perfect so it's only i'm only using this because of the cardstock so just with your glue just dab little bits on top of all of those ones there And then with my thicker one, I'm just going to run a couple of strips. Oh, I've got all kinds of bits picked up on that one. Let's just remove that. Just along the top. On either any one, you're just doing it on one. But I'm going to kind of hug one side like that. And then with the other one, just hug the other side. And then I might just pop a thin one through that gap in the middle. So then everything's covered. Obviously, if you've got a, it's about a one inch section that one, then you can just uh, do it all in one go. I need to order some more of that. Okay, so as I always say, whenever you're using this tape, just go over it with your bone fold and just make sure all the air bubbles are out. Okay, so take the backing off of the one where you just covered the top there. And we're going to stick the other one on top of it. Don't worry about doing the tabs just yet. Just leave them for the moment. But then this one is going to stick over the top. And what you want to do with this one is just line up this kind of side here in this tab with that one there. So you're just bringing it in just slightly. And just sit that one over the top. Just run it along the score line so it's all nice and straight like so okay and then you can kind of just curl it again okay and then you just want to go along and just fold all of these sides down okay and I've just thought you want to actually put another line of tape on the back of one side again doesn't really matter which one so I'm just going to do it on this one here this is what we're going to stick down first is the back so for me it's going to be just this plain piece of acetate not the one that I've 
um, done the heat embossing on because that's for the front but just whatever you're having on the back so if you are maybe having this piece to write your message and stamp you would want to do that now and even write your message because you there is you can put a bit of pressure on there but you wouldn't really want to write on that too much in case it you know it did go through so I'd say do that now and then stick it down so I'm just going to take the backing off of this piece here and the easiest way to do it is just to sit it you want to line up the side of the the circle here to that fold in there okay so if I just start it off on one of them as you can see that I've just stuck it right up to this piece here and then just follow the curve of the circle as you wrap it around and push down on each of the tabs as you go around and that way you will keep you know you'll get a perfect circular shape but each time make sure it does butt right up and it will go right up to that score line. Okay, and then the bottom will meet up. And then what you'll want to do is add, you should have some sticky tape on one side anyway. And then this piece here is overhanging. You could trim it if you want. Um, I'm just thinking, do I want to trim that piece? Yeah, I probably will. Let's just trim that bit off. Because it's going to go inside. You're not going to see any of it because it will be inside this kind of where it, you know, kind of dips in. So now we've got this encased piece, and that's now ready for us to stick, you know, to pop in our shaker pieces. So again, whatever it is you're putting in here, you might not be doing that, and this is where you don't have to have these two pieces. You, if you don't stick one underneath, so you wouldn't have all these pieces on this side. You just have an open piece now for you to build up a little scene inside. And Olga has lots of inspiration on her channel. I always say that whenever I use any of her dyes um, because obviously she's the lady that designed it. So yeah, so go and check hers out. I'm just going in there just before I start adding stuff. Um, actually, I'm going to die cut one more of these. So I just thought I don't want to see those pieces. So what I'm going to do is stick that one inside. So you still see right the way through. So let's just take that one out. So you'll want to die cut two of the, the pattern or in whatever colour you want. I'm going to use the red tape and you just want to work your way around. Don't worry if all of the backing paper buckles because as soon as you peel it off it will, you know, it will stick. So I'm just kind of, it's just again because I'm sticking onto acetate I want to make sure it all sticks really well. So just take that one off and then again take the backing off like so and then go in and it will fit perfectly because it's you know it's the exact size. So just go around and that will conceal all of those pieces. Because on that one you can't see it because it's so white. So that's why I didn't think about that one, but that was really obvious with this one. Okay, so make sure you've got no bits in there. I always like to you get a lot of static with sequins and shaker cards and things like that, but if you just if you've got an anti-static buddy. I always like to kind of put it in there and then if you grab a just a dry brush and just kind of tap out any excess but just rub all that powder all the way around and then it just clean off everything but it will take away all the static so we've still now got a nice piece there and then I'm going to pour in, Now I do want quite a lot because I want this to really, you know, shake around. Oh, I've got a little rogue, I always get rogue ones. Oh, <laughs> if you've seen me, i done a unicorn shaker card, I think it was. And quite a few of you found it quite funny because I put it all together and then there was this rogue odd colour in there and it was so funny. But anyway, yeah, I've got a couple of black ones in here. Let's just take those ones out. I've got a blue one in there as well. It'll be just my luck. Although there'll probably be another colour and I won't see it until it... It's all um, sealed, but never mind. But pop it on its side, and you can get a rough idea of kind of where it's going to kind of come up to. I think that's going to be okay because I want you to be able to see the time to party as well against it. So let's just put a little bit more for good measure. There we go. Right. So you need to be a hundred percent sure now that you are, you know, obviously happy with what you've done and what's inside. And then, and you could even have like a little gift in there. 
so they've actually got a break into it. I think that's quite nice as well. So, you know, you could have like, I don't know, a piece of jewellery like shaking around inside and then that person's like, oh no. Or you could have something like maybe their favourite chocolate to tease them or something like that. I think that'd be quite cool. Okay, so now this one, you just want to kind of do the same as what I did when I attached the back piece. Is start just on one side, doesn't matter where, but you want to get it as close to the, let's just take that off again. As you're working with acetate, you can peel it off. So I'm just folding it down a little bit fiddly and just get that first one right down onto you know so the edge of this circle so hard to see the edge of this circle here this acetate one is running right on the edge of this piece once you've got one in place just work your way around and it will all because you want to kind of get your finger in there just to stick most of it down get my ring stuck to it there and then the last ones. Now, you've got this really cool piece. Do you know what? They actually look quite effective, but they're going to get covered. But now, you can see, I probably could have done even more, actually. Can you see? But it's a nice, that's a nice piece. I like that. So now I need to die cut another one of these in the holographic, because that is going to sit perfectly over the top there. But I don't want the white on the front. I want the, I want the, the you know, the same holographic so I'm going to take the backing off of the back piece and stick this one down and that will cover up all of the back but you can still see through it which is what I wanted like so so yeah I'm just going to get one of them cut before I do that let's just go on to this piece so again the same way you want to add some double sided tape along those three and the all of the all of the sides, so both sides here and that top one. Okay, and then just go over those ones again, just making sure they do kind of curl upwards. Like so. Okay. And then take the backing off. Don't worry about the top ones for the minute because they you kind of do them last, but you want to push all of those sides in. And then you're going to follow the side of this and just stick them to it. And you can get in behind it, it's quite easy to, like that. If you go in underneath, you can just go over there and just push down all those pieces and you'll get that effect. So again with this one here, just fold them all in. Bring up your side. Again, I always challenge myself with, you know, a more difficult cardstock. But if you've got a normal one, then it would be fine. Like that. So you get a really cool side. So you can imagine now how this is going to sit. And look at the colours from it. It's got a real cool New Year's look about it. So next, you want to take off the other ones and just repeat. Okay, so now we've got this piece and then those will go inside and kind of just tack onto there, like that. Love it. Right, I'm just going to go and get that one done for the front. Okay, so I've just done that one again and then I'm just going to pop my tape on the back just like I did for the other one. And just make sure that it hugs the outside there. Again, you, you can add some pressure to this. It would make a lovely decoration. If you were to hole punch through that before you closed it all, put some nice ribbon through, you imagine that on the tree. I think that is stunning. I, I again, if you, again, I always say it, but if you follow me, you know I am addicted to this cardstock. It's possibly, it is my favorite. I just absolutely adore it. But what a lovely time to party. What great invites. These would make brilliant party invites. So like I said, you don't have to have it see-through. I do like it that it's all clear there. So now we need to pop it into this, which is completely optional, but it just transforms it, I think, into something quite um, pretty. So I think I am gonna put the tinsel on it. I think it can, ha I think it can hold, hold the tinsel. So it's just literally just, it is tacked in. So you wanna make sure once you go down that it's straight. So make sure you've got your 12 facing, you know, upright 
and then just push that in. You could add some more tape to the front pieces if you want to. Now in the, um, the die set, do you get these other panels? So this one here will die cut another panel to go on the top and because I'm using this cardstock I think I'm going to do that one and this one here will die cut little stars I guess they could be yeah they are stars but it could be you know little snowflakes you've got snowflakes there I wonder if they fit they could probably go along there and then that's obviously the big one that I used for that one but I didn't use it on that because I just thought it would be a bit lost but because I've got lots of little scraps here let's um, see if I can get it out of this one no nope. I'm gonna have to use a piece from here so I'm just going to die cut that one okay I've just die cut that I keep thinking of more things what about like save the date or a hen party invite just the circle piece I think they're brilliant I've got lots of ideas and I have a few things going on next year so it could uh, definitely come in handy for that so I've just die cut it but now I'm thinking actually I'm going to use some foam I think it might be quite nice to have it just lifted a bit so let's just pop a couple of little pads on the back and then we can see how it's going to look with the uh, what I've just realized I've done but it's going to get covered is you want to make sure that your join is obviously underneath there so when I stuck this down make sure when you stick it down it's you've got your join at the bottom so I am definitely going to use the um, the tinsel there just because I think it will hide that a bit but now you can sit that and it gives it that kind of mantle clock piece you see there it's quite sweet so now just push that on there a little bit more I've got some of this wired tinsel let's just have a little look how it looks against this oh yeah I think it looks lovely so I've got my hot glue on and all you want to do is just add a little bead I love using the skinny tinsel I've used it so much this year so let's use it for one more project for for new year and then you just want to sit it on the edge there, let that grip to the glue. That, what a fun little piece. Love it, love it, love it. It's got all my favourite things on this, tinsel, glitter, the cardstock. So I'm going to do it on the back as well because I think it will frame you just frame that quite nicely. There we go. Look at that cool piece of little bit of artwork. I think these are fantastic. I kind of wish I had them before because I think I would have done quite a few Christmas cards with these. I mean I've still got a bit of time, maybe we can squeeze some in, but um, I think they're just so much fun. Decorative, just as a little ornament, a nice little save the date, a very posh tree decoration. There's just endless possibilities and you would definitely see me pulling these out because yeah I've, I've already got more ideas to kind of go from you know let's go a little bit more mad with them and see what we can do so yeah have a little look at the links below check out all like the additional pieces because like I said before a lot of the dies do coordinate and work with other sets as well so I love these I think they're absolutely brilliant. Thank you for watching today I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial please give me a thumbs up if you have and consider subscribing so you get to see more. Thanks for watching bye!